Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com back again with another how-to video. This time we are talking about 10 easy ways to improve the speed of your mobile device. So stick around, we'll be right back. Now this list of 10 things you can do to improve the speed of your mobile device is geared primarily towards Android based device, but many of these can be applied to other mobile platforms such as iOS, um, Windows Phone 8, Blackberry, all these other things. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, power off your device. Your cell phone is basically a mini computer and just like your desktop, every now and then it's a good idea to turn it off and turn it right back on clears everything out. Now with that being said, another thing you can do is to clear out the memory. As you see, all of these applications are running in the background, most of them anyway, and we don't need that. That picture that you looked at half an hour ago, your gallery is still running. Uh, the message that you answered six hours ago, the text messaging app is still running. So just swipe all these away. Number three is live wallpapers. Everybody loves live wallpapers. They're really cool. They look awesome. Um, really make your phone come alive. You can have a roaring fire going in the background of your device. But these live wallpapers slow down your device. These are videos that are running in the background taking precious system resources. So get rid of them. Instead, maybe put on a static picture here and this looks like a good one we'll go with that number four widgets and applications now widgets I mean having too many widgets on your home screen some people will get their device and they have maybe seven home screens available and they'll fill every single one up with widgets and a lot of these just aren't necessary whenever you leave an application and come back to your home screen the device has to redraw all these widgets and application shortcuts and that takes time so get rid of them maybe you don't need this here let's get rid of it we don't need it uh, we don't need to the Flickster widget here now when we're talking about applications I mean all the tons of applications that you downloaded from the market or the Play Store wanting to try out the cool free applications and you used it once and have never opened it since go ahead and get rid of those those things are just taking up precious space in your system here you can get rid of them you go into applications in your settings menu and you can scroll through what's running all the applications on your device I recommend going to the downloaded this is the list of all the things that you have put on your device go through here and uninstall the ones that you don't need anymore that's gonna free up space and make your device run faster number five is application updates go ahead and disable those a lot of these applications that you install Facebook Twitter your email client when they install they default to automatic update and some of them are ridiculous they update like every 30 minutes and you don't need all that so you want to come into your settings menu here go to accounts and sync if you're running ice cream sandwich jelly bean it has a section here that is dedicated for them and you can click on them and change when they automatically update or disable it all together number six is disabling the plugins in your browser come into your browser here and go into settings and for me it's in advanced settings and here enable plugins you can set this to always on on demand or off what this does is when it's always on every time you launch a web page your device will search for any plugins as far as flash and things like that and automatically run them now that just takes time and a lot of times it's not needed maybe you'll go into a web page and somewhere down at the bottom of the page a video automatically starts to play and you'll get this mysterious audio going and you don't know where it's coming from and it's annoying well that will uh, disable that one of the easiest ways is number seven and that is to disable animations whenever I launch something you see the animation zooms in zooms out my menu here pops up from the bottom and those are cool but you know it's slowing it down the window doesn't pop in 
super fast because it goes through that transition animation first. And you can turn those off. Now in older versions of Android, it will be in display in your settings and you'll see a section for animations and you can turn them off or turn them on. In the newer Ice Cream Sandwich Jelly Bean, it's down in developer options. And you go down and here it is, window animations, transition animations. If you click on one, it's set by default at 1x. You can set it 0.5x or you can turn it off altogether. If you like the animations and you want more, you can increase the length of the animation. Number eight, using a third party home replacement. Now I'm primarily referring to launchers when I say that. And there's several really great launchers out there. Uh, this one I'm using here is called Nova Launcher. Uh, some of the other popular ones, Go Launcher, ADW, Apex. These are all great applications to use. And what it does is it replaces the native launcher and allows you to use one that is much more customizable and faster, frankly. A lot of devices come with very heavy overlays to Android. HTC being one of the main ones, their user interface is called Sense, and Sense is a very heavy graphical interface. And all that graphics requires processing power, and it slows everything down. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's not very quick and snappy. So you can replace it with one of these launchers and improve the speed greatly. Now I consider number 9 and number 10 the best ways to improve the speed of your device. However, they both require root access. Number 9, overclocking. Overclocking is boosting the performance of the processor within your device. There are several applications that can do this job. One of the most popular is called Set CPU, and it works great. This ROM that I'm using here actually has a built-in section for tweaking your CPU with all kinds of different options. Overclocking your CPU is great, but I have to warn you, if you're not entirely sure what you're doing, don't do it because you do run the risk of damaging your device. Now, number 10, putting on a custom ROM. A custom ROM will improve the speed of your device in two major ways. Number one, a custom ROM normally has gotten rid of all of the bloatware that comes on devices. And by bloatware, I mean all the applications that come from your mobile carrier, AT&T, Verizon, uh, like uh, AT&T Navigator, for example. These are all the applications that you're never going to use. Maybe it's a free trial. You get a 20-day free trial of a video game, and then you have to pay for it after that. It's a monthly subscription. You're never going to buy it. And it's just, you can't delete it. It just sits on your device and takes up space and resources. So custom ROMs usually get rid of all the bloatware. They clean out the ROM, get it down to just what you basically need. Then secondly, custom ROMs have been tweaked for performance. Battery performance, speed performance, uh, CPU, GPS. They have all the latest visual enhancements added to them. Everything that you need to really supercharge your device. It's your original phone, but on steroids. It's great. So I absolutely recommend putting on a custom ROM. But of course, do your research. You can't just start throwing stuff on your phone and not knowing what you're doing. You're going to ruin your device. So that was it, guys. Ten very easy ways to improve the speed of your device. I appreciate you checking out the video, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Come check us out. You can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And as always, we'll see you next time. 